is hard to believe, but our last sneak is here for 2016. Please welcome Stephen and find out all about VR vid video editing. Please welcome Stephen. Hi. So um, who here has uh, tried virtual reality so far? Maybe you had to try Yeah. So visit the virtual worlds. Virtual reality is super exciting. Uh, there's lots of hardware available now. We've got, this is an Oculus Rift. You can buy these now. We've got VR video cameras, and uh, people are uploading videos to YouTube and Facebook. So maybe you're thinking, you know, you went to the community pavilion, you saw some stuff you really liked. You're like, yeah, I want to get in on this action. I want to make, I've got, a, I've got a VR music video within me that I want to post to YouTube. And so I'm going to, I'm going to record some video. I've got my fresh jams. I'm going to pop into Premiere, and uh, I'm going to, I'm going to do what I normally do, and I'm going to make my VR video. So uh, let's take a look at Premiere and see what we can do with it. Um, we've got videos courtesy of these artists from YouTube. And let's see what this looks like. We've got a, a panorama video that's being shown here. We've got a couple cars and a road. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to tell what's happening, actually. Um, we can see that there's motion, but like what the motion is and, and where it is in the scene, it's kind of hard to interpret. If we want to really see what's going on, we've got to put the headset on. Um, then we've got to look around. And if we see something we don't like, we've got to take the headset off and go back into Premiere and change it. And then we want to see what the change looks like. We've got to put the headset back on. Uh, and after you do this for a little while, it gets pretty tiring. Um, so what we'd really like to do is see if maybe there's a better way to do our uh, video editing inside VR. And so what I'm going to show you is something we call Project Clover, which is a uh, VR video editing interface in VR. Let's see if, I can, see if I can get this on. OK. I've got my, my Rift. and. Uh, I've got a couple of touch controllers here, so we can um, start looking at that same video. And so all of a sudden, this makes a lot more sense right out of the gate. You can see I've got a camera on the side of a race car. I'm on a race track. I can see that we're turning. Uh, if I look around in back here, I can see there's a, there's a car chasing me in the back. And so like, now, now I understand what my video is all about. Now it's time to like, actually start using this interface to edit it in VR. So we've got a little Premiere-style timeline interface here. And let's just go back to the beginning. And what we've got here now is another clip. We've set up two clips. And this clip, we've got a, a camera in a parking lot and a car um, doing donuts around it. So that's pretty cool. And what we're going to have is when it, comes, when it comes back around to the front here, we're going to cut back to that race car video. OK, and so here's the cut that we lined up with our timeline. But what just happened there is, is a little funny. We were looking at a car doing donuts, right, just a, just a moment before. And as soon as the car cuts over, now we're not really looking at anything. We want to we see the action, but the action's happening in the back here. It's this, this other car that's chasing us. And so, this is a problem unique to VR video, where uh, before and after a cut, you might have um, some action that's important before the cut and some different action that's important after the cut. And you want them both to be in the same part of the scene so that you don't, your audience doesn't lose what they're looking at. So it's not like they're kind of looking around being like, I wonder what I'm supposed to be looking at right now. And meanwhile, they're missing part of your story that's happening in the background. So we have a tool that we use to address, to fix this problem. We call it the rotational alignment tool. And what you can see here is two clips that are being visualized. On the top is the, the clip after the cut. And on the bottom is a clip before the cut. And I can just go ahead and toggle back and forth between them here. And I can see that they're not aligned, because here's the car I'm looking at before the cut. And what I want to be looking at is a car in back. So I can actually just go ahead and click and drag here to rotate it. Whoop. The control's a little funny. There we go. All right, now I can see that they're aligned. Can do this all in VR. You can just check it out, make sure that that's, that's good. OK, so I can turn off my rotation alignment tool. And let's go ahead and watch that, um, watch that clip again. So, Car's coming around, doing its donut. Bam, we're welcome right at the car in the back. This is the kind of editing you need to be able to do in VR for VR video editing. And this is just a taste of what we've implemented. But um, hopefully, this gives you a little idea about what the future is going to be for how you're going to edit your videos. Thank you. Great job. Awesome. Thank Steven, you. Steven. Steven's also the bassist from the Alabama Shakes, playing <laughs> later tonight. Yes. <laughs> that's that's super cool. You know, I I want to I want to get into uh, VR and and, um, and and work on on horror and, and and comedy films in that space. So this is a very you know it's it's a very new world for for uh, for me for for many of us. I I mean I can see I can see you know editors are already you know like they they they, they live in a hole and when they come out they're in a they're, it's like they've lived in a different world. So this is going to be a really uh, I, I think be fun and engaging uh, way to uh, change up the, what they do. That's very cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Stephen. Big round of applause. Woo